If the blades on your tractor are in good condition or have been replaced, deck leveling may be necessary in order to achieve a good quality of cut. Prior to leveling the deck, there are five safety warnings from the owner's manual that we must review. First, depress the foot pedal fully and raise and hold the parking brake knob. Once the knob is locked, now you may release the foot pedal. This will set the parking brake. Place the mower engagement lever to the disengage position. Turn the ignition key to the off or stop position and remove the ignition key and place it somewhere where it cannot be put back into the ignition switch during this procedure. Make sure the blades and all moving parts have completely stopped. Disconnect the spark plug wire from the spark plug and place the wire where it cannot come into contact with the spark plug in the engine. After completing the safety procedures, prepare the tractor for the mower deck adjustments. First, make sure that the tractor is on a level, paved, smooth surface. Then, raise the attachment lift lever to the highest position. Next, adjust tire pressures to the maximum pressure on each tire. You may have already done this. Always protect your hands by putting on protective heavy-duty work gloves and remember to use proper eye protection. On both sides of the tractor, position the blades at the side as shown so that a measurement can be made from the edge of the blade to the pavement. Note each measurement. Subtract the two measurements to get the difference between the left and right sides. If the difference is close to one eighth of an inch, a side to side adjustment is not needed. If more than one eighth of an inch difference, you will need to make an adjustment. Make the adjustment at the left side of the tractor in front of the rear wheel on the lift link lock nut. Each full turn of this lock nut will change the height of this side of the mower about three sixteenths of an inch. Turn the adjusting lock nut clockwise to raise the mower and counterclockwise to lower it. Use the appropriate size wrench to make the adjustment. Measure the blade tips at both sides again and adjust until the difference between the blade tip heights are about one eighth of an inch. This must be correct before making the front to rear adjustment. When you are ready to make the front to rear adjustment, rotate the blades so that the direction of the blades are forward and backward. Protect your hands from coming into contact with the sharp cutting edge of the blades. Again, the mower should be in the highest or the transport position for taking measurements. Using the bottom edge of the blade closest to the deck as a reference, measure the distance from the ground to the blade at the front and rear blade tips. Make note of both measurements. If the front blade tips are one eighth of an inch to one half of an inch lower than the rear blade tips, the position of the blade is acceptable. If the front to rear angle of the deck is outside the range of one eighth of an inch to one half of an inch, adjust the blade to a point that the difference between the front tip to the rear tip is one eighth to one half of an inch lower. To make the adjustment, use the appropriate size wrench to loosen the jam nut several turns. This allows room to move the adjustment nut. Turn the adjustment nut counterclockwise to loosen or drop the front of the mower, or clockwise to tighten or raise the front of the mower. Measure the front and rear blade tips and make sure the difference is within the acceptable range. When the desired measurements are achieved, tighten the jam nut against the adjustment nut without changing the position of the adjustment nut. Check that all pulley guards and deflectors are in good condition and properly secured in place on the tractor or the mower deck. Replace the spark plug wire on the spark plug. Replace the ignition key in the ignition switch so you can test the mower. To find the right part for this and other do-it-yourself repairs, visit SearsPartsDirect.com or call Sears Parts Direct toll-free at 1-888-206-3622. If you prefer to have a technician complete this repair, you can schedule service by calling 1-800-349-5072.